This is Joe Pryor with the Virtual Real Estate Team in Oklahoma City. And I would like to address those homeowners that are financially distressed in our area. Now, typically, if you're not making your house payments, it's because, well, something's happened badly. Uh, it could be a loss of a job, a loss of income, uh, forced relocation, it could be a divorce, it could be medically related. I know in all situations the feeling is that you're alone with your problems. And a lot of times you just don't want to tell anybody. You don't want to discuss it with anybody because it's embarrassing. Uh, and you're just afraid that possibly somebody's going to judge you or they're going to think less of you. And, and maybe you, you don't even want to talk to your family about it because of this particular reason. You want people to think that everything is okay when it's not. Now, I don't think this is a really good idea, but the majority of, I think, of Americans act this way. Uh, we don't seek out help and we let things go. Uh, and that's kind of a depression that I think is something that in the long run is not going to be good for you or good for your family. So I'd like to talk to you personally. Uh, I'd like to talk to you as a person that's been through a few hardships in his life uh, and to give you the confidence that, that you can call me and there's nothing that you can tell me that prob probably I haven't heard or that I haven't experienced myself. Uh, and so this is kind of a, just an unscripted way of, of discussing a comfort level that I think that you'll have. Now, we are an experienced short sale team. This is something that we do all the time is help people work something out with their mortgage company or possibly in some cases even find alternatives to short sale, certainly to avoid foreclosure. But I know that, you know, the tendency is, well, if I call Joe, uh, he may judge me. He may think less of me or, you know, he may talk about me. Well, that's not the truth. Uh, also, I'd like to discuss the hardships that you're going through because there's something that I have had that have had happened to me in my life uh, also. Uh, back in the 1980s, when Oklahoma was really not a good place, when uh, we had an energy bust, uh, I lost my business and I know what it's like to have those phone calls and so I had to deal with no income and what that does when you can't make your payments. Uh, I've been through divorce. Uh, that's something that I know the financial consequences but I also know the emotional consequences also. Uh, and I've got dogs right here that are trying to keep me comfortable and keep me happy while I'm talking to you. Uh, I've got a couple of wonderful poodles and I tell you what, they are a great comfort to me. In fact, uh, when I contracted cancer, when I was diagnosed with cancer uh, in 2008, uh, I tell you what, it was a rough time. It was a devastating blow to me. Uh, and I ended up going to Houston and taking my dogs with me uh, to seek treatment. And, and they were a great comfort, but also I know what the cost was. You know, you think medical insurance covers everything, and it, it just doesn't. Uh, in fact, it didn't cover about $60,000 of my expense in those two years. But uh, you can't put a cost on your life. You can't say, well, I'm not going to spend it. And so that's what I did. But I know what it did to me financially. That was money that I was going to have for retirement. All these things have affected my life so that when you call me, uh, I know what pain you're going through. I know the sense of isolation and sometimes the sense of hopelessness. And I don't want you to feel that way. Uh, even though 7 out of 10 Americans, if the national statistics are correct, just let their house go to foreclosure. But let me tell you why you should avoid that. First of all, it costs you a tremendous amount on your credit report. A short sale does not. You may have a 250, 350 point hit and that may mean that somebody won't even rent to you or they may double or triple your deposit. Or you go in for a car loan and they say, well, I'm sorry, I, you, you just really can't even qualify unless you want to pay a 16% interest and at that point it's not worth having the car. Uh, if you're in Oklahoma, Oklahoma is a deficiency state. What that means is, is that once the lender establishes the loss from foreclosure, they can sue you for what they lost, and that is money they can recover. Uh, and bankruptcy very often is the only way out of that. And, and I don't think that that should ever happen. I don't think a foreclosure should cause you to go into bankruptcy, and a short sale can save you from that. Typically, we get rid of the deficiencies. Uh, judgments, uh, the possibility of deficiency judgment when you do a short sale. Now, the other thing is uh, uh, that, that I think is a very strong uh, 
uh, reason to avoid foreclosure and do the short sale is the tax liability because the lenders send a 1099 statement to the IRS establishing your loss. Now, you may think, well, gee, I lost $50,000. How is that income? To the IRS, it is. It's forgiveness of debt. It's what we call phantom income. It's as if you made that amount of money in that year. And believe me, the IRS will get their money one way or the other. And these are all things that you can avoid. Now, even another thing that I would put into the mix for you is your job. In some cases, if you're in the military, you have a security clearance, maybe you handle money uh, for someone uh, in a firm, these can be reasons for termination, legitimate reasons for termination on your job. Or if you're hunting for another job, uh, employers typically are looking at credit reports. And if it says, well, paid is agreed like a short sale does, or after two years where it just says paid, it may not have an impact on you getting that good job when it does become offered to you. Uh, and uh, if you're competing with somebody else, that can make a terrific difference for you. So those are the reasons, just basically, to avoid foreclosure. Most importantly, what I really want to emphasize, whether it's me or whether it's some other really good experienced agent anywhere that knows how to get you through a short sale, I want you to call. You know, many of us do this because of our own personal losses that we've experienced. We're willing to work three times the amount of time that it takes to get a short sale done versus a regular sale because we think it's important to uh, have you avoid what may have happened to us. And so I want you to have that comfort. Now, you're free to call me. Uh, you're free to email me. You can email me at joe at joepryor.com. That's J-O-E-P-R-Y-O-R. Or if you want some more answers uh, to questions immediately, uh, or if you want to see a, a chart on what the difference is between short sale and foreclosure, you can also go to the website that we've made specially for people in financial distress looking to save their homes or save their credit. And that is www.avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com. Most importantly, call. It's very important that you deal with somebody that sympathizes, empathizes, and has the ability to get you out of a very bad situation so that the future will be a better one for you and your family.